I've been asking Source how to refocus when the mind is wandering into negative territory. How to refocus the intentions, the energy, attention. And I'm dedicating this source speaks to allowing the transmission of source to entrain us all with this capacity and understanding a deeper knowing that it is not only possible that it is the next evolutionary step in your incarnation evolution embodiment uh, having more realization and awareness when the mind wanders is the key and first step So we must find alignment and come back to center. Reconnect, open up to listening deeply, giving up the attention and focus to source. Allowing source to pulse through becomes easier and easier with practice and time it can be achieved and done in any in all situations, not just while sitting on a pillow or a beach. It can be very exciting to live and walk in the world hand in hand with infinite intelligence. All of the information, knowledge, and wisdom at your fingertips. Putting down and releasing the old stories and tapes, noticing when they're running, is a practice that can be refined. To refocus the energy, there must be a retraining of our capacity to gear and steer the attention in a certain direction. It's not only possible and probable, it is your potential to master this way of being the human condition. Accept and receive the challenge and opportunity We are showing you that you can change gears, reconnect, shift your perception in any situation. And you can also receive and listen deeply no matter what you're doing. Be willing to practice that under challenge as well as peace. Find the courage, commitment, determination, and consistency that is required for more source to pulse through. It's always here, always available, waiting your alignment and your yes. Patiently, quietly, with presence, whispering nudging and guiding with the emotions and feelings, utilizing the guidance system to choose life-giving thoughts, to notice when something is draining, when it's uplifting, indulging in the habits. It gets old after a while because it does cause so much pinching off and constriction of the life flow. You are never separate from your source. It's just a matter of how much energy is flowing through by releasing the pressure valves, opening the portals, plugging in, tuning to this channel. Like your antenna can receive 
the transmission and surrounding your body with a bubble that will clear out all the other psychic debris, claiming your space and owning it, releasing the cords and the energy leaks that are draining your field will allow for there to be a container for more source, for more life force. So many different names can describe the same thing. Hmm. And then calling upon your family of light is understanding and tapping into the well of wisdom and the entourage high council wisdom keepers and frequency holders that are here for you. You are not alone. You have an entire sea of consciousness that you swim in. Every being is connected at the soul level like particles of light dancing on the waters. Tapping into that, feeling it, experiencing it is such a tremendous gift. It frees up so much resistance, feeling of separation. Allowing each person to be a sparkle of divine light dancing on the waters within that sea of consciousness. Hmm, let it feel good as you open up to more grace and ease, deeper levels of relaxation and sources available and in the here and now, present moment awareness. see it, hear it, smell it, taste it, touch it, the perception needs to shift out of the low density vibrational states of contraction. Fear, doubt, and worry, many names have been assigned to the contractions. They're just the pinching off. So much light fractal Spiritual wisdom and transformation is ready to flow through when you open up the valves. You're so close. You're right here. Right here with us. Let it be easy. Let it feel good. Let it become your natural state of being. always lovingly guiding you and showing you the way. are shifting and changing, showing a shift in the tides, a shift in the energy flow. Let the winds wash over you. Whatever natural elemental alignments happen, it's all for you. It's all a reflection of your state of being. <sighs> Sending so much love and gratitude out for these reminders when they come so clearly. 
being present with it, enjoying it, celebrating it, all of it, whatever comes. That is the allowing, that's the gift in it. The gratitude is the gift of allowing, the gift of being willing to receive, no matter what it looks like from a limited perspective of lack. Refocusing the energy is much easier when given up. Give it to us. Allow us to mold it, play with it, work with it, transmute it, and return it to you. We are so willing to play with you. We're so willing to explore every realm <clears throat> to dissect every situation, to understand the ups and flows and pitfalls of being human. There are trappings within the human condition, and there's also enlightening, enlivening realizations that are waiting for you at the leading edge. It's okay to want more, <clears throat> experience more, have more. Believing in yourself, believing that it's possible is how we grow. There's constantly going to be more. So get comfortable with that expansion. There's also a continual growth field that you live in, constantly growing, being marked by age in your reality. And there will be a continual deepening and understanding of what death is and how life is eternal and pulses through in many forms and how all the forms are interconnected. And you're still learning and growing and understanding and that's okay. For now, just enjoy being you fully. Find the preciousness of this gift of life that you've been given. Find the quality, find the purpose and power, get your passion back into alignment with your soul's purpose. Refocus on that. What are you here for? We keep reminding you, what, remember what you're here for. Remember why you came, not just to Hawaii, not just to planet Earth. And in this time and space reality, serve your purpose well by being it moment by moment, dreaming it alive. Whatever lack and limitation that you've been experiencing lately is burning off in the moment. It's done just that quickly. In quantum time, it can be healed. It's done. It's like a meal you've already eaten and released. And it's done. And in this moment, you are completely free to recreate your reality over and over again. And you're completely free to choose amongst it. You're completely free to move forward, to move on, to try again. And you're so free, you can choose bondage, so be careful. Full of care and mindful. 
people of mind and your choices and your attention, ask for us. We will help. We will nudge you to refocus when you're off course and you'll feel it. That you are a free being. And you are here to be a masterful, deliberate creator. So we won't do it for you unless you ask for our assistance and participation. Otherwise, we would just live the life for you, and that is no fun. It's already been done. We've lived every single version of reality, infinite choices and possibilities along the lines of time, and then you get to choose amongst them. It's already done. It's so refreshing and rewarding to experience this because now you know that choosing fulfillment and satisfaction is possible. It's not just an illusion or delusion. It's already been carved out, paved the way. It's a vibrational tone. Oh, and every vibrational tone has a matching and a dissonance change your vibrational offering and you will change what you're seeing, hearing, experiencing. You know this, you've seen it over and over again. Your belief system still glitch you up, trip you up. But you have the capacity to align, align with it again and again. There is no getting it wrong, just refocus, rechoose, try again, restep. And this stake is a new take, a retake. There's always another way, another chance, even with death. Don't wait for death to start living, start living now. Start believing in your capacity to be here now, be here fully. what anybody else is doing or saying or being. Your energy is your choice. Stop giving it away. Stop aligning with others in their discrepancy and floundering around. No one else can choose for you anyhow. Pray for all beings to be happy, healthy, and free. Pray for them all. Free yourself from carrying any of the bondage of resentment, resistance, disappointment. Pray for every single being to find that inner well of peace that you are tapping into. Tune the mind, the emotions to align with the source seal energy, soul self that you know that you are, that you experience every day now. The guidance is so strong and so real will continue to grow and as your capacity expands and shifts to hold it. Allow every being to flourish in your presence and move away, walk away, vibrate differently when you experience something that you don't want or don't like. 
it's not for you to dig in. It's not fruitful. Be of service to the divine by aligning. Allow yourself to be tremendously happy, exuberantly overflowing with joy beyond, beyond. Not just eking out a little bit of happiness or joy that you have been seeking. Find more laughter. Enjoy the other players. The ones that want to come out and play will find you, will be there. Be open to new connections, new possibilities. There's kindness and love all around you. to share with you how to hone in your senses and refocus your energy when you get off in your alignment. I'm going to show you vibrationally and then we're going to describe it. It takes incremental steps back towards center since thought forms have momentum and you cannot stop a train once it's raging down the tracks. It's easier to stop it in the beginning paces of it, but once it gets going, it needs to be incrementally tuned and turned back in the direction of your source light, of your essence. The breath will take you there, pivoting and finding gratitude and knowing what you do want once you know what you don't want to the surfaces. Believing and knowing that it's possible will start to shift the vibration. Dreaming it alive. We're just gonna run through a bunch of different practices that will each give you an incremental step. We recommend doing them all. If you have one that really works in the moment, that's okay. Joke and play and make fun of. Loosen the ties. We promise you one day you will find laughter in all of these painful situations that were once devastating. <laughs> you will be able to laugh at their absurdity and silliness. But for now, when they hit, when they hit an old wound, when they hit a bruise or a boo-boo, and it hurts, lick your wounds, say, I'll take care of yourself. Do nice things for yourself. Extend more love to yourself and others. Practice forgiveness through prayer. Say a prayer for them. Wish them well. Wish them the qualities that you are seeing that would be helpful and needed to alleviate a situation. Wish that upon them through your prayer. Gift it to them through your vibration. And also see yourself at the leading edge, future presence connecting to your master level soul self that's already living it. Pretend in your imagination that you're already there. Act that way, walk that way, speak that way and see what happens. And also remove yourself from the environments that are creating more momentum. You can't watch a horror movie and feel good if you are getting attached to the story and believing it to be real. So be careful about what you indulge in, what you engage in. And incrementally bring it back. No need to make a quantum leap. It will create some turbulence in the field. Just let it be easy, slow, uh, twisting and curving like the way rivers move back towards the ocean.
Hmm. That will take some practice and some time. And if you ever get stuck, give it up to us. Learn how to do that. Learn how to get real present and still open and listening quickly in any and all situations while moving, while dancing, <laughs> while dealing any and all people, places, and things. Notice that the people and places and things change faces, change hats and masks, but it's all the same because the energetic patterns underneath them keep running. And yes, they're a slightly different flavor, different flower, but they're all coming from the same root systems. So we're uprooting and up-leveling, upgrading the codes every time you connect. That is the quantum healing. We're plugging you in to the higher dimensional vibratory tones of the crystalline structures. The spiritual transformation and transfiguration that comes through the quantum light is quite different than your normal reality. You can feel it, sense it vibrates all around like golden dancing light filaments filling the air and exciting the cells enjoy the sensation of coming back into oneness paradigm unity consciousness wholeness let the waters cleanse you and clear you Use all of nature and the elements to entrain you. Nature is here as infinite intelligence to serve you. Conscious beings, connected light beings to the core of the earth. Mother Earth is so alive. Feel that in every grain of salt and sand. You are so alive. You are animated by the precious, life-giving energy of Source, of love. Understand love as a state of being, not an emotional charge between two people. Love is a state of being. A higher vibratory tone like gold. It can be called by many names, just like God is called by many names. The name does not matter as much as the knowing and the sensation. Tapping into that feeling. Bathe in it, bask in it. Saturate yourselves, your subconscious, your entire being and all the levels and layers of who you are. The highest and best version of your effervescence. Radiance, magnificence, brilliance. It all comes back online once recognized and realized as your natural state. Use the personality to serve the soul. Let your strength and power come back online. Use the mind to access source. And use the emotions as the guidance system. Let the heart be the central portal home base. Nothing is outside of you. It all lives within you. Let it feel good to open up to greater levels, capacity of grace, ease, freedom, joy, 
They're all here waiting for you. It is a vibrational tone, an alignment, a choice point. Refocusing in every moment, coming back to what's truly important, to what is the passion, purpose, power, plan, and path of play, of serving, of being. Tap into your creativity and innovation. Inspiration will pulse once tapped in, your high council, spiritual council, ascended masters, archangels, guides, they're all here wanting to give, wanting to be of service and to assist. They're all here. Seal in your field, keep your body of light in your bubble really clean and clear. There's always going to be infiltration, debris, outer stimulation, all different vibrations. And that's okay. You don't need to remove all those from the world in order for you to choose the higher states. They no longer affect you, touch you, distract you once your commitment is clear your dedication is strong and the creator's heart is open and flowing. Ah, what a beautiful offering. Thank you, thank you, thank you for this time and place and space. Source is always here with you, pulsing through you, available. Namaste.